Hi guys and welcome back. Today I will be showing a tutorial on the dragonfly variation of Call of the Midwife. So instead of the normal floret, we are going to do um, an actual dragonfly inset. Um, whenever mine is completed, the one that's pictured on the thumbnail, um, these are the three colors that will be used in it. So we have, of course, it's Caron Simply Soft. It's soft green, off-white, and soft blue. And all of these are really good, sweet, um, baby colors. Of course, you can use any color that you'd like. Um, I do like to do tricolor blankets. If you want to use solid color, of course, that's fine. When planning out how you're going to do your colors, if you're going to do the border, um, if I'm doing a tricolor blanket, I want to make sure that my um, my V-stitch border that goes around the blanket isn't in the same color as my beginning color or my ending color. And so that's why I'm going to be doing cream in the middle. Um, even though the manufacturer suggests a 5 millimeter hook, I prefer a 4.5 millimeter. And I always use Susan Bates. The head is definite of the hook is definitely broader. And I feel like the inset is a little bit deeper too. And so it really helps catch the yarn better. So the full size blanket like I have pictured, um, that was starting chain of 118 stitches. Um, I'm just going to be doing a sample piece today, um, but whatever size you decide to go with, it needs to be a multiple of 16 plus 6 stitches for turning. So that's why it was 118. Those 16 stitches, that is one for every block of your um, pattern. So there will be dragonfly blocks. If you would like to increase or decrease, you can um, definitely do so. It just has to be a multiple of 16 plus 6 for turning. All right. So to begin, I'm going to create my slip knot, right? And you can do that anyway. But just to make sure that the yarn that you're poking through to where it actually slips is connected to your skein. Um, if this one is the one that, you, that you're pulling on and it's tightening up, that means that your project can come undone if that gets looser. All right, so because I have a sample piece today, I'm only going to be doing two dragonfly blocks. And so I need a multiple of 16 times 2, 32, plus my 6 for my turning, so that's 38. So I am going to chain 38, and to chain, we just yarn over and pull through. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, and pull through. Yarn over, pull through. All right, so I'm gonna speed up a little bit. Um, I have got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, and 38. I count pretty much constantly through my videos. Um, even when I'm crocheting by myself, I count constantly. Um, definitely whatever project that you're working on, you want to keep track of where you're at. Make sure you're not adding stitches or losing stitches. And I really think that the Call the Midwife blanket is great for that um, because each of the blocks only go to 15. It's definitely easier to keep track of. All right, so all the Call the Midwife blankets and these variations included um, are bordered by a and open grid work. I'm going to show you a piece that I'm working on. So it has that open grid work at the bottom, the top, and in between to separate those blocks. This is actually a butterfly one that I have been working on. And um, this is a variegated yarn, just so you can kind of get an idea if you do use a variegated yarn instead of a solid color. Um, I think it doesn't um, do the pattern justice. Unfortunately, it kind of disappears in all the busyness of the pretty colors, but just so you get an idea of what it will look like. So on this chain right here, we are going to start that row of the grid work. 
And so to do that, the very first stitch we're going to work into is actually the sixth hook, I'm sorry, the sixth loop from the hook. We don't count the loop that's on the hook, but it is one, two, three, four, five, oops, we're twisting. One, two, three, four, five, and six. All right, so that one is the one that we're going to be crocheting into. Um, these other chain stitches will form our square of our grid. All right, so to, um, in this sixth stitch from the hook, I'm going to double crochet. So I'm going to yarn over, insert my hook. Grab that yarn, pull it through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. All right, so this whole row repeats of a double crochet, chain one, skip one. Double crochet, chain one, skip one. So there's my double crochet. I'm going to chain one. And whenever we say skip one, that means the stitch that's down below it, we're not gonna work into it. We're gonna skip that one and go into this next one with a double crochet. Okay, repeat of the chain one. Skip that next one on the chain, go to this one. And over. through, chain one, skip one, yarn over, insert into that second stitch, pull it through, pull it through, and pull it through. So you can see how we have this open grid work, and we're going to continue that down all the way along the chain. And it is just double crochet and then our chain one, skip one, double crochet. So sometimes when we're working, we get distracted, have to put our piece down. Um, in that case, we kind of lose track of where we're at in simple patterns like this. Um, it is really important that you don't give an extra chain or um, leave one out. And so the easy way to tell where you are at if you lose track, if you've just completed a double crochet, you will have two loops of yarn right there on your yarn. Once you do that chain one, then you're only going to have one loop of yarn on your yarn. So that way you can tell where you're at in case you have to pick your pattern or pick your piece back up. All right, so I'm going to continue along at the end. I'm sure your piece is longer than mine. So just meet me um, at the end if you would like to pause your video. So if you are new to crochet, I will say that working into the chain is the most troublesome thing for me. So if you're struggling, it's okay. Um, it's just because it's kind of light and flopping around, it's small, it's kind of hard to hold on to. So the bigger your piece gets, I think the easier it actually is to work with it, unless it's a really big piece. All right, so when you get to the end, um, if you're not there yet, if you wanna pause, that's okay. 
So when you do get to the end, you should have a double crochet and then two um, open loops right here. And we're gonna continue on with our chain one, skip that one, and you should be putting your final double crochet in that stitch, that loop right by the slip knot. If you're not, then that means that you have missed a stitch or maybe um, not skipped one on the chain. You can go back and look, make sure that it looks all even, but you wanna make sure that you have the correct number of these bars. Um, the call of the midwife blanket works is set up on a pattern of rectangles just stacked on each other. If you're missing stitches or um, putting in extra ones, obviously your rectangles will look a little bit wonky. So now we have um, completed the end of this row. So every time that we get to the end, for us to turn, we're going to chain four. So one, two, three, and four. We're gonna turn our work and we're gonna go back across this way. All right, so as we're working, we need to keep in mind that this open grid work is going to run along all of the side of our blanket as well. So we don't want to work into this space right here. We're gonna leave that open and work right into this double crochet. So we're gonna double um, this row. Each of the butterfly blocks is gonna have 15 double crochet. So to do that, we yarn over, insert into that first double crochet, grab the yarn, pull it through, grab the yarn, pull it through, grab the yarn, pull it through. So that is our first double crochet in that butterfly block. So on our previous row, we had um, our stitches. So we had a double crochet and then a chain one, a double crochet and a chain one, a double crochet and a chain one, and so on. So as we're stitching these 15 double crochets, we're actually going to be going into that chain one. That's a stitch that we want to catch. And so most people, we will just um, go into that space down there. So it's a double crochet, so we yarn over and go into the space, come up under your piece, grab that yarn, pull it down, pull it back through. I know that's kind of awkward at first. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And then we do another double crochet into the next double crochet in the previous row. So um, in case um, there, is an, there is an option in case you would like to use it, um, instead of going around into that space, you can go into that stitch. So double crochet, we'll yarn over, and we go into that stitch, and you actually have to go through the V. So there's actually like two loops of yarn. We have the bar on the back, and then we pull it through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So you can kind of see the difference there with how it is, um, how you, however you decide to do it. Um, I think this does look more finished and whenever I am doing um, a tricolor blanket um, and this is where my color change falls, then I will go into the stitch. It is some extra work there. If you're doing um, a solid color blanket, if, if you don't mind how that one looks, then you can go around it. It does save you quite a bit of time. For this tutorial though, I will be going into that space, not into the stitch, just to help out on time. All right, so that was three. I'm gonna continue on to my 15. So I yarn over, go into the space, grab the yarn, pull it back through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. Double crochet into that double crochet. And you wanna make sure that when you're going into those double crochets that you're catching both yarns from that V. You don't wanna just catch one yarn and pull it up. There should be two. All right, double crochet into this space. All right, let me slow that down a little bit so you can see. Just keep going until we get to 15. So I am on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes. Eight. Nine. 10. 11. 12. 
13, 14, and 15. So our 15th stitch should have ended up to be in a double crochet. If you're counting to 15 and you end up where your last stage is in one of these spaces, that's an indicator that um, something has went awry. Maybe on the previous row, maybe um, this time around. But always, if you need to, please go back and double count. Um, it definitely um, saves time to go back and double count and count, catch your mistake when you make it instead of finding out on the next row and then having to pull out both of those rows. So if you look, whenever I'm counting, I know that all of my odd numbers, one, three, five, and so on, all end up in a double crochet. All of my even numbers, two, four, six, eight, and so on, end up in those spaces. So that way I know if I'm in the correct place or not. So that is actually the end of my first dragonfly block. So now I need to skip from this dragonfly block over to this next one. And so to do that, I'm gonna do a chain one, skip one. So I chain one, and then the one that I'm skipping is the space right here, that chain space from earlier. I'm not gonna do anything with it. I'm actually gonna go into this next crochet and double crochet into that. And that will be my first double crochet of those 15 on this row. So I'm going to continue on with my next 14, right? Go into the space, grab it, pull through two, pull through two, to the double crochet, pull through two, pull through two, yarn over into that space, grab it and pull it down, pull through two and pull through two. All right, so I'm going to speed up. If you need to replay it, um, definitely do so. If you're not sure about a step, um, go back to the beginning of that step, right? And keep trying until you get it. The Golden Midwife Blanket is fairly simple. Um, even if you're a beginner, don't be kind of like overwhelmed by the patterns. It is really simple. And I think it's definitely better um, to do this as where if you have like repeats, like in blocks of 15, as opposed to like um, just doing like a whole blanket of double crochet or a whole blanket of single crochet stitches. When you do that, it can be kind of hard to tell at the ends um, where you should be turning, what stitch you should um, be first stitching into on your first stitch. And quite often, whenever we do blankets like that, um, it's very easy to lose stitches or add stitches and then you end up with a blanket that has like an uneven edge, um, a triangle shaped blanket. So definitely with this one, it's very, very obvious on what stitch you're working into. And so it really helps you get a good grasp of where your row is actually ending. All right, so once again, our number 15 ends up in that double crochet. All right, and so to continue this grid work going up this side of the blanket, now that I've done my last double crochet, I am going to do a chain one <clears throat> and then I'm going to find my third chain. Well, it's, it's the second to the last on this one. So my second to my last chain is this right here. And so I need to put a double crochet into this chain right here. I want to make sure when I go into this chain that I'm actually catching the V in the chain. So I'm going to yarn over. insert okay so I'm gonna catch that yarn pull it through yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and so that double crochet in there really helped to give me that open grid work going up this side so as you're doing this um, piece you'll realize that it kind of looks wonky at sometimes kind of looks uneven after you add more and more rows and especially after you get on that border I mean, if you choose to do so, then that's really gonna help square it all up and help it to lay flat. So now that we're completely done with that row, it's time to turn. So we need to do one, two, three, four chains to turn and turn our work. Okay, so the very first thing we're going um, to do in this row, the part of the dragonfly that we're gonna create is his tail. And to do that, we just do seven double crochets, 
one in each of these previous double crochets. Alright, so we yarn over and go right into the double crochet. Remember you want to leave that space open. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So you can lay it down and you can um, look and make sure that your double crochets line up. Make sure that you don't, you didn't miss one or put in an extra stitch. So now that we're sure we have seven, we're going to do chain one and skip this next double crochet and we're going to work right into this next one. So yarn over and it's going to be seven double crochets along this side. So just like with the standard call the midwife blanket and the um, butterfly blanket that I also have the tutorial for, these blocks are symmetrical as you're working from side to side. So whatever you do on one side, you want to make sure that you do on the other. All right, so see we have our seven double crochet our one chain space right here, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And so we should end on that same double crochet um, at the end of our dragonfly block where we jumped over to our other block in the same row before. All right, and so we're gonna do the same thing that we did. We're gonna do that chain one, skip one, to jump over to that block. So chain one, skip this space. This counts as our one that we're skipping, and we're gonna go into this first double crochet. So yarn over, insert, pull it through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. And so we can see how we jumped across, how it has that divider between the blocks. Okay, and we're gonna do um, seven double crochets just like we did here. So this is our first double crochet. This is two, three, Four, five, six, and seven. Okay, so we got to make our tail, so that's a chain one. Skip that one double crochet. I'm gonna double crochet into that next stitch. So see how we skipped that one. There's nothing in that V. This is that little gap. Okay, so we're going to continue on with our seven double crochets on this side. There's two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So you should still always end on that one stitch, right? That very last double crochet in the block. And we're going to make our little border. Um, that open grid work, we're gonna chain one, and then we're gonna double crochet into that third chain um, from our turning chain. And so that's the next to last stitch. Okay, and we're gonna chain four, one, two, three, and four, and turn our work. All right, so this side, we are going to start on our dragonfly's wings. And the first thing we're gonna do is four double crochets, one, two, three, four, one in each of these stitches. So, one, two, three, and four. Okay, then we're going to chain three. One, two, and three. And now we are going to single crochet into the space that we made for his tail. And that's going to connect his wings um, to his tail. Okay? So, single crochet. And then one, two, three chains. Right? Because we're doing exactly like we did on this other side. 
and we're going to skip three. One, two, three, and double crochet into this stitch. So on this side, we're going to reattach his wing right here, and then we'll have four double crochets over here just like we did on this side. So I'm going to recap what we just did in that step. So we had four double crochets, one in each stitch. We chain three. We skip these three double crochets right here and single crocheted into that, um, his tail space. We chain three and we skipped these three double crochet. And then we put four double crochets, one in each on the next. So as we're working, make sure that your, um, your dragonfly, your butterfly, even if you're doing a stain, you're called midwife blanket, that it's looking symmetrical. Um, you might kind of have to just to pull on it um, to make sure it's even. And that way that uh, you make sure you're not missing or adding stitches. So we're gonna do our chain one, skip one, to skip over to the next block. Chain one, we're skipping this one, and we're gonna do the same exact thing. Four double crochets, one in each. We're gonna do our chain three, one, two, and three. We're going to skip those three and go right into that space and do a single crochet. We're gonna do one, two, three, and skip one, two, three, and go right into this double crochet with our four other double crochets. All right, so we have our dragonfly blocks. And so I know it looks a little bit uneven here, but when, when we add on um, our last couple rows to the pattern, it's gonna pull um, this row up to where it's even. You can just um, go ahead and continue on on this row until you get to the end of the blanket. Once you are there, um, you might remember how we finish up with and do that open grid work on the end. We do a chain one. And then we double crochet into that second to the last chain. So that third chain from our turning chain. Okay, what we don't want to do, um, I know down here we did work into that space. We don't want to work into that space over here because we want to make sure that there's exactly one stitch length in between um, this very edge and where our dragonfly block begins to um, make sure that it stays square. We wanna have that nice, um, even, symmetrical border. All right, so now that we've got that done, we're going to chain four. One, two, three, and four. We're gonna turn our work. So on this side, we're gonna do really similar. We're going to do three double crochets. So one, two, three into those stitches right there. So yarn over and we're gonna do one, two, and three. We're going to do a chain four now. One, two, three, four. So we're gonna skip four stitches. And so that means that we're gonna skip this double crochet and we're gonna skip those three chains. And that will take us to this previous single crochet right here. Okay, and so we want to single crochet into that single crochet. And we're gonna do chain four, right? One, two, three, four because we're just doing the mirror image of what we did on this side. And then we're gonna skip four. So we're skipping our three chain stitches and we're skipping this one double crochet right here. And so we're gonna be working into this one right here. Okay, so a double crochet into that one. All right, and then 
two more double crochets. Okay, so I want to recap that row really quickly. So we had three double crochets, a chain four, and we skipped these four, and we single crocheted back here into our dragonfly's um, head, and we did a chain four, skip four, and then three double crochets. And then we should end up right back here at the end of our block. And so to jump over, we are going to chain one, and skip that space and continue on with that pattern. So three double crochets, one in each stitch, and then our chain four, one, two, three, four. We are skipping these four and we are single crocheting right back here into the center of our dragonfly. We're chaining four, one, two, three, and four, and we're double crocheting right back here. And after we've skipped those three chains and that one double crochet, that was our skip four. Okay, and so we have a total of three double crochets on this side, one in each stitch. And then we're gonna do that block for our grid work. We are going to chain one and then double crochet into that second to the last stitch. You want to make sure that when you're chaining that your chains aren't super tight. Um, if some are super tight or super loose, it's especially going to cause your border to look wonky. Um, I know here it might be um, kind of like we're tempted to like make it tighter, make it looser to where it it looks more square now. Um, however, you don't want to do that. At the very end, it will square itself up. Um, you just want to use the same tension throughout to make sure that your chains are taking up the same amount of length as your double crochets. All right, so that's how your piece should be looking now. We are going to chain four. One, two, three, and four, and turn our work. Okay. So on this row, we are going to do 15 double crochets across. And so it's really obvious to see where the first three double crochets go, but then on the next four double crochets, we're actually going to be working around that chain and it will pull this wing up to be bigger, like for you know how real dragonflies are, right? So it's gonna pull that wing up to be a little bit bigger. Double crochet number eight is going to go right into here, into his head. And so see, once it gets up there, you see how it's going to help pull him back up where he's supposed to go. We're going to put the next four double crochets into this wing, and then there will be a double crochet in each of these three. So as we're working, you want to make sure that you are keep um, your counts keep adding up to 15. All right. So, for example, we have our three double crochets here in these three previous ones. So, one, two, and three. So, our double crochets into this space is just like we work with our chain spaces down here. We yarn over, we insert it into the wing, come up from underneath, grab that yarn, Pull it back through. Right, so we have three loops on our hook. We yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. And so you can kind of take your fingers and adjust where those um, stitches should be. But like I said, there should be four in each wing. So we have one, two, three, and number four. All right, so you can kind of spread it out in a minute whenever we're done, but that's how it should look like. We have one, two, and three, four, five, six, and seven go around that wing space. And now we're gonna do another double crochet into um, his head right here. And that will be stitch number eight. 
Um, some people might prefer to do a treble crochet there. Um, I prefer to do a double because as you do the next row, it's kind of going to pull it up even more, even more straight. Um, if you do a treble, it might be a little too long and then he'll stay like smushed down. All right, so that's eight. So nine, 10, 11, and 12 will go around into that wing space. So again, just continuing on with double crochets. So stitches 13, 14, and 15 go right into those double crochets. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, or um, into the wing or for that single crochet right there. So to go on to our next block, we do our chain one, skip one to jump over. So chain one, skip one, now we jump over. So we're gonna do the same thing, 15 double crochets across. So one, two, and three. One, two, and three. Okay, so then the next four, remember, we're working into um, or around that chain for his wing. So, four, five, six. and seven. Remember number eight goes right there into the center of his body. Um, if you have, if you're not ending up on number eight right there when you're in the center, um, go back and double check your counts. All right. So for this one, I'm actually gonna do a treble so you can see um, the difference and then you can do whatever your preference is. To do a treble, we yarn over twice before we go in. If you're not familiar with that stitch, so then you go in, you grab the yarn, pull it through. So you have four loops on your hook. We're going to yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So we're gonna do another four on the other side. One. Two, three, and four. And then we have our last three double crochets. Numbers 12, I'm sorry, 13, 14, and 15 in this row right here. So one double crochet into each of those. So see, you can kind of see how it is. And because of those stitches, they're kind of like floating and, and slide on that chain. You can adjust. Um, like I said, it, it depends on what you want to do, whether you want to do the double or the treble, whatever your preference is. All right. So now to finish up, I'm going to finish this block right here of the grid work. I'm going to do my chain one. And then I'm going to double crochet into that third chain the second to the last stitch. Make sure that when you're doing this that you're getting that V. If you're only getting one of those yarns, it's gonna pull on that one loop and it'll kind of make like a, a big gap there. All right, so now we chain four to turn. One, two, three, and four, and turn our work. Okay, so as we go across, 
um, we are going to, we're done with our uh, dragonfly block. We're going to repeat this grid work right here, right along the top. So if you remember from that, it was double crochet, chain one, skip one, double crochet, chain one, skip one. And we're gonna do the same exact pattern here. So double crochet, chain one, and the one that we're skipping is that double crochet. So we're only going to be crocheting into every other double crochet. Okay, so we're skipping this one, going into this one. Chain one, skip one, double crochet. Chain one, and skip one. Go into this one. So you can see how we're not working into every other one. We do a chain one. And we should be skipping that space, that's um, that double crochet that went to the top of his head. That's the one we should be skipping. So double crochet into here. Chain one, skip one. Double crochet, chain one skip one, double crochet, chain one, skip one, double crochet. All right, and so I'm going to speed up a little bit to finish this up. However, just make sure that you are ending on this last double crochet right before you jump. Um, you don't want to be um, ending in a different spot. And then that, like in over on like the second to the last one, that means that your count is wrong and you'll need to adjust. It's definitely starting to square up um, just for planning purposes. Um, the blanket that is in the thumbnail, um, it is the tricolor blanket, the cream, blue, and green. Um, it is taking me one skein of the blue and an entire skein of the green. Like I just have always just like a couple feet left. And then on the cream, that one actually takes um, a little over one skein. So about one and one fourth um, by the time that I do that border. If you're trying to make this with only three skeins, um, I would definitely consider either making a smaller blanket or making the border a lot smaller, um, you know, not as wide, um, to make sure that you have enough. But for definitely what is shown in the photo, you're going to need um, a little over three skeins, about three and a third um, if you're using all of it. Okay, so I am almost done. So this is the row that I changed my color on. And so you can do it either way. You can, um, if you are going to do one color, um, they look precious. If you decide to do um, more than one, I either change at the beginning of this row or onto this row. So I will caution you if you are doing a, a tricolor one um, or you know a multicolor one where you're changing the yarn colors, then whenever you are going um, onto the row after this one, so it would be your 15 double crochet, whenever you're going um, into that stitch, it will show up more if you're using different colors because it's a little bit longer to go into the stitch and then up here it'll be higher and it'll just kind of be uneven. All right, so to finish that, chain one and the second to the last stitch. Right, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. All right, and so that is it for this tutorial. The, um, the link for the border will be um, in the comments below. Once you get your blanket done, you can come back and um, just do the tutorial for the border. And so that way it makes it a little bit easier to find whenever you are ready. All right, guys, thanks so much and make sure you subscribe.